Drew video today to show you how to fit an SVX style grill to your Land Rover Defender. So basically there's a couple of components to the kit. Um, there's the grill kit which consists of these um, metal mounting frames which mount the headlight bowls to. You've got their handed so you've got two of those. And then you've got the headlight surrounds which are these two panels there. Uh, we've got these in various colours. We're going to have these in chrome, silver and black. And then there's the main grill section. Um, so these are actually injection moulded. They're fully moulded um, ABS plastic. And these can be fitted, we reckon, to any Land Rover Defender. With or without aircon. So we're going to try it today on this little gem. This is our little pickup. We steal off a local farmer from time to time. He's the only person that will lend us anything. Um, right, and we're going to show you how to fit it on this. It's, it, it's uh, not really suited to this vehicle, but it'll give you an idea how to fit it and what's involved. The other thing to bear in mind if you're purchasing this kit is lighting. So on the original kit from Land Rover, you had some uprated headlights and we sell um, some uprated headlights which would look nice with this kit um, with a little LED um, sort of smile at the bottom. Um, also this lamp here was a driving light on the original um, Land Rover unit. We're working on a, a, um, a, a kit with some cheaper lower cost lights and then this top one was a, an indicator light. Um, from Land Rover there was also a wiring kit um, to change because the driving light that came on with the main beam was giving extra current draw so they needed to put a relay in that lamp circuit so bear that in mind if you're gonna install that on your car um, but we're going to try and keep it as simple as possible um, with our install today so right then tom shall i pass the camera over to you should we take that grill off first i reckon that's a 10 is it looks yep. like it yeah Okay, so your screws may vary. I don't think many defenders are there with the original factory screws in. Most of them have been put back together, so yeah. So bear in mind this video is what this, goodness knows how many years old defender, how it's put together may vary slightly from your vehicle. But the process will be the same. Okay, so there's three screws there. Now there should be two screws at the bottom as well, shouldn't there, Tom? Yeah. But they're missing on this little gem. Excuse me. So a lot of this you guys will know how to do, but we'll just do it start to finish. And we'll try and do it fairly quickly. Because how long do you reckon this would take you, Tom, to do this? If you cleaned everything as you went along? Two hours. Two hours. It's a Saturday Three morning hours. job, isn't it? Yeah. Take your time, have a cup of tea in the middle. So Tom's already had a little practice run at this, so we've got the advantage of no sticking nuts or bolts. So obviously we do that to make it look like we know what we're doing. Which is tricky for us to do sometimes, isn't it Tom? Right then, so we're going to take the headlight surrounds off. Now I've got to put those nuts in there before we lose them all. Right then, drop, drop, drop. Okay, so... Got two little screws, crosshead screws there on the inside of the frame. Those magnetic trays don't stick to the wings at all. <laughs> right, and then you got some screws that these screws go through the little lamps and actually hold the whole plastic surround on. Do you think they'll stay in the lamp to mine? They might do. You push down on the back of that, which will release that lamp unit. Remember the um, side lights, that's the side light is at the top. We'll do the same for the bottom. Yeah, sometimes it will disappear back up in the wing. Which should be okay for us today, shouldn't it? Because we're having it all out. But yeah, it can. Oh, so they put, they've colour coded them, look, oh, like that, you mean? Mm -hmm. Right then, okay, so now we should better lift that off. 
So that's basically, let me put those back in there. So that's basically the front panel removed. We'll do the other side off camera uh, to make the video a little bit quicker. Let me put those little screws in the pot. Right, the next thing we need to do is remove the headlight. So I've colored these screws in orange. So there is a, gosh, what position is that? Five o'clock. There's a screw at the five o'clock position here. And that's the same on both headlights, isn't it, Dom? Both it is exactly the same. Oh gosh, right, and then what that does is, it wasn't, you've got these two slots here at the 12 and 9 o'clock position, and you can actually undo those and then, <coughs> excuse me, and then remove the whole headlight, and then what you've got on the back here is you've got your headlight connector, which we can sort of wrestle off here, this three pin H4 connector, why do I get the feeling it's going to go flying, Tom? There we go. So you've got a connector there you can pull off. And that's headlight. We'll, we'll reuse that. Now you might notice we've got upgraded headlights in here. And we've upgraded these um, previously. So this is the sort of crystal headlight where the lens is a smooth piece of glass and the beam pan is set by the reflector. Um, they'd be a good upgrade to do at the same time as this. Right then. We now need to remove the headlight bulb. I'm just going to put that screw back in there for a second, Tom. Right, so again, I've coloured the screws we need to remove orange. Make it clearer for the video. So that's just a little self-tapping screw there. One. Two. Three. I think we've replaced the headlight bulbs in this car previously, so we've got plastic ones in here. Yours may be slightly different, but it's the same general concept. So we've got the four of those out, and then we can actually remove the headlight mounting bulbs. Does that fit through there, Tom? No, no, no that's There's fine. no need to, is there? No, it can right. stay. It can stay. Right, so that's that. And then it's a question of reassembling the, um, putting the new kit on. Um, right, so these panels are handed. Now, have I got the right side here, Tom? I don't look too bad. Uh, no. Nope, that's the wrong one. How about... That looks better. Okay, so that's how that goes on there. And basically, what this is... What this is doing, those four screws we've just taken out, this is creating a spacer, if I can wiggle it through here. Am I making this look different? Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Okay. And this is providing a spacer to space the headlight mount further out from the car. Now, what are we lining up on? So we're lining up on the original two screws there, and then we're picking up on one of the, that's the side light screw, isn't it? And then the indicator screw, and that one down there. Now, is this where, Tom, they do provide in the kit an extra two bolts to go, some rib nuts to go here? Thank you. So, um, yeah, so there are two extra holes here drilled and in the kit you do get some rib nuts but we don't really see the need for putting those there's no particular weight going in there so we don't really see the need for those do we so in the kit you get some little self tappers and that is the that's the rib nut um, that would go in that bottom hole there um, we've got a separate video on installing rib nuts on the website, so take a look at that. But we're we're not going to fit those, but I guess we recommend you should. Um, but we don't quite see the need of it. Okay. So there's those little flat screws there with a washer head. Thank you, Tom. Doing these 
up too tight until we've got the others in. Just to make sure we get them all in. Yeah, so this forms like a subframe or a carrier to the where the new grille and the headlights rounds protrude more. This gives you support to that. There's no way that is ever going to move Tom with them four screws in there. I don't particularly understand the need for the two bolts at the bottom. But it seems a bit of overkill to me. Right, so finished nipping those up. And can we mount that headlight bolt back in now, Tom, do you reckon? You can, yes. So, get your headlight bolt, make sure you've got it the right way up as you reinstall it. These, uh, so normally, yeah, this little screw for the rim is at the bottom. Okay, so yeah, no, we've pre-assembled these um, clips onto these protruding legs here. Um, in the kit, they come in a separate bag, so you'll... Tom's assembled them there for me. And then I'm going to put back in the four screws that we took out originally holding the... And again, your screws might be a little rusty. Did you replace these, Tom, when we...? But, yes, I did. So you may were... Is there a few spare self-tappers in the kit, Tom? Not that size. Not that no. size, no. So you may want to raid your self-tapper pot, depending how yours... This car's had a pretty hard life, hasn't it? So <laughs> chances are yours will be better, rather than worse. So there, what you can see now is we've got that headlight bowl spaced, spaced forward. Now, if you've got one of the later defenders with the headlight motor adjust, you'll have that. There's there's plenty of room for that to to be fitted as well. So you may have that extra headlight adjustment motor. Um, ah, yeah, Tom's uh, suggesting that in the instructions from Land Rover, they do question whether you need to bend or cut out this little section here because it might get close to where the headlight is. So that's one little little thing that might catch you out if you have the, the headlight adjustment motor. But all Land Rover tell you to do is just cut that aluminium and just fold it down out of the way. Okay. Right, can we put the headlight back in now, Tom? So, okay, we'll just do the one side on the video. We'll go and do the other side and then we'll catch back up with you guys. So we've Clip those two in. Oh, I'm going to need oh, put that little screw in there for safekeeping, isn't I, Tom? There you go. Okay. Right now, in terms of lighting, we are not going to put in the side light and indicate a light. Um, there are various options you can do here, um, you, and we'll go through that a little bit later, but we'll just continue with, with the install. So we'll stop the video now, we'll do what we've done on this side, on that side, and, okay, and then we'll come so back. So we've just brought the other side up to the same level as that. Now we need to remove this front panel. Now the quite interesting thing I didn't originally appreciate about the SVX grille is obviously you, you lose your original grille, but you actually lose this um, this aluminium support frame. That gets that gets totally thrown in the bin. So we need to remove that. And I think that's why you can use the SVX grille for cars with and without aircon, because on the cars with aircon, this panel sits forward a little bit more, I seem to recall. We've got a washer on there, have we? Right. So we've got these four screws along the top. Again, they're just crosshead screws. Right, so that's the top release now. The next bit's going to be a bit trickier to show on a video. What's the light looking like this way, Tom? We're going to have a 
So basically we've got three bolts. We need to undo the bottom one and actually remove it. So these are 13 millimeter. Again, I'll put the little disclaimer that says on this car they're 13 millimeter. But I really don't know. I really don't know what they might be on your car. It's always a bit of a mystery. He's nearly there. Out that last bit. Mm. Should have put that back with a bit of oil on him, haven't you? Here we go. So there we go, we've got that short bolt there out. Now the top two. Don't, there's two at the top here somewhere. I'm having a feel around here. Now we don't need to take these out, do we, Tom? With it, they're just slotted bolts. So we just there's one. Where's the other one? Oh, he's in in border, but this probably isn't the best bit of video entertainment. Here. I'm on the same one again. That's plenty. Okay, so now you can see that, that that panel's moving off now. If I just spin the other two out on the other side, we can have the big reveal. Right, now those little, what do we call these? Clinch plastic clinch nuts. Trim nuts. Trim nuts. Oh, he's, he's a bit in the way, but can we get round him? There we go. Come on. You know you want it. That's it. There isn't a lot of strength in this front frame really when you unbolt it, is there? Yeah. Oh, uh, there we go. So there's that one with its little washer combination. Then we got these little two. Now this one was a bit tricky, wasn't it, Tom? Because we had the horn in the Take the horn off. I've all left them loose. But let, let, if you have a look how you would do that then, let's, let's... So for the sake of the video, Tom has left them loose. So that then... Pulls that out, there you go, that's that. And let's just have a look at that horn ordeal, Tom. So, we just, you just don't do these two at the top, did you, Tom, to get oh, the horn? nut on the back. Oh, there's just a nut on the back, is there? There's that. Okay, there's a nut on the back of that. If you can't get to those, you could probably get up there with a spanner. But there is a nut on the back of the horn, a single nut there. Right, so that's the front panel of... Now, do we nip those up now again, Tom? Because we don't reuse those. In fact, it's probably better if you have a... When I've done these up, Tom, if you just have a look under here. Just to show how that... Where those... Because they were difficult to see, I think, on the video, weren't they? Okay, that's those done up. Right then. Now, where are we at now, do you reckon? Tom, what's a good move now? Put your outer cluster covers on. Clusters on now, okay. So, uh, right then, so here we go. So we're now, so this is the lights that you can get from Land Rover. Um, we'll try and get some of these in stock, but we're gonna try and get a cheaper alternative. So basically, the this is for the left-hand side. It's that way up. Right-hand side. It's always the right-hand side, is it? Um, this is the... <laughs> yeah, sorry. Yeah, I'm with you, Tom. Yeah. So the right-hand side, left-hand, as we look at it. So the top one is the indicator, and the bigger one is this um, driving light assembly, which comes with a little adjuster, and that's what the hole under here for is. So you can wind up. We haven't fitted the adjuster. There's a screw, and basically it adjusts the beam height. So this is sort of spotlight auxiliary main beam driving light. And on the SVX, the side lights are built into the headlight, and we do a headlight like that. Um, for now, we're just going to show you how to uh, assemble this. So you'd obviously have to make your electrical connections. We're going to gloss over that. 
Um, at the top here you've got this ledge that you can see has been manufactured onto the product and that actually is a lip that locates over this top metal bit here. So when you fit them it's sort of a bit like a cap flap in that it, it locates over Okay, and then that's it. So that locates over and it sort of hangs from that. And um, yeah, and then what we can do is we can put the screws in, the location screws. Now where have we got then, Tom? So we've got one under here. Okay, we've got one there. Uh, and that's it. Yeah, is there and one? No. And we'll, later on we'll have a bolt on there, will we? Okay, so we can put those in now, can we? Yes. And we'll... Okay, so... Not too tight. Not too tight. And then, where's that little mystery one down there, Tom? He did them in there. Okay, that's that one on. Right. We'll stop the video there. We'll get the other side up to the same level and then we'll come back and put the front okay, grill Okay, the kit on. does come with some self-adhesive rubber jointing strip which you can join onto the grill. Um, as you'll see, just to form a join where, where they join. We'll show you that later. You would need to put that on um, as you see fit, but we'll skip that step for now. Thank you, Tom. And we'll keep on with the main job. So. This is the main grill. So the main fixing points, we've got two holes at the bottom here, which are going to go in through here onto this captive nut that's formed part of the support plate we fitted on earlier. Okay, and then on the top we've got the four screws that we used originally. So I think we can just position that onto the top. Now we're probably that tucked under the front bar there. That's it. Okay, here we go, it's starting to line those up, starting to look good. We're actually, we're not going to reuse the screws we used earlier, we're going to use some of these ones out of the kit. Okay. So we're starting to look like the part now, I think. Oh, I won't do these too tight now. There is a point to note here. Okay, now one point to note is that this grill on this model is obstructed by going back. Um, so you can see we've got a little bit of leeway in the screw there, but it's these bolts here. Now I think this is why Land Rover say it doesn't fit the pre-95 model. So what you may have to do to improve the fit here is just slightly file out this top section here, or um, that's probably about the only way you can do it is though you could lift up the bolt and, and move it under a little bit. We're going to leave that for now, okay? But we just thought we'd point that out. That's the only difference we, that's the only part we can find where it doesn't fit nicely on this model, okay? And we'll show you what the impact of that is in just a second. Okay, like that. Then, right, in the kit you get these nice long Allen head bolts, okay? But we're gonna go in, right then, oh gosh, there we go, into the front there. And that. It's a bit of a wiggle. I think we found something. Look at that, first time. I've just been lucky there, have I done? No, it's alright. Yeah. Been lucky on that one. Oh, they just found it. There it goes. That's not too bad, is it? No, a little bit of persevering. Right. So that is the job finished. Right. Um, grill badge. You need the Discovery Three type grill badge to go in there. The larger one. Um, 
Other points to note is if you look from the side, there is a bit of a gap on this one here. Okay, and that's because we haven't filed the top out of that grill. If we file the top out, we can get that to sit back further, which will reduce that gap. And also, we've got the um, take it right against the box. Take it right, yeah. And also, you've got your your gap filling um, rubber strip that you can put in there to reduce that. Also, bear in mind. This car here is kind of bashed, um, so, as you can see. Um, so it, with every confidence that will fit pretty nicely. So let me just lower that down. And, um, yeah, it's somewhat battered Land Rover, but hopefully you can see how that does change the look um, of the car.